The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Cam Steve for Botest.com, and today we're taking a look at a brand new boat from Aralo designed to serve as a crossover between family fun and weekend fishing. It's the dual console Roballo R207. Boarding is from either swim platform and then stepping onto non-skid platforms created by the folded down aft seats. Once on board, the seats quickly convert to four across seating with storage underneath two of them. The R207 serves as a crossover boat. Family fun is easy on any boat and that picture is completed here with an optional ski tow frame surrounding the outboard and a wakeboard tower with kneeboard holder as seen here on her bigger sister, the R226. This in addition to the large sole storage locker. As for fishing features, the open cockpit measures 3 feet by 6 feet with padded bolsters to either side. Tow rails are just below the undergunnel rod storage. Rod holders are in the cap rails with the aft rod holders doubling as drink holders. Two self-draining coolers behind the bucket seats also serve as fish boxes and a third is in an insulated compartment in the bow. A 13 gallon aerated live well is underneath the center of the aft bench seat. With the bow cushions removed, the entire foredeck becomes a wraparound casting platform with storage underneath the seats. And the entire deck is fully fiberglass lined for easy hose down cleanups. The port console lends itself more to storage because it's a bit cramped, but it can be converted to a head by adding an optional porta potty. This is somewhat unusual in a 20 footer, but it's one of the details that make this a family boat. The helm console is completely uncluttered thanks to the use of dual optional Yamaha command link multifunction gauges that serve as the only information display in the panel. There's a space to the right to accommodate an optional GPS. The five spoke stainless wheel is mounted to a tilt base. The walkthrough between the two consoles measures 19 inches and a door in the helm console opens to serve as an air dam below the closed windshield. The bow was a little cramped but served its purpose. My leg stretched forward to the wraparound bolster. Stainless steel rails serve as comfortable grab handles and speakers are side mounted into the bulkheads. Additional storage is under the aft seats. A hatch in the foredeck covers an anchor locker that is self-training and anchor keepers are to either side of the opening. Our Roballo 207 had a length overall of 20 feet 7 inches, a beam of 8 feet 4 inches and a draft of 30 inches. With an empty weight of 3,400 pounds, 40 gallons of fuel and 2 people on board, we had a test weight of 4,060 pounds. With a 150 horsepower Yamaha 4-stroke turning a 19-inch Saltwater Series 2 propeller, we reached a top speed at 6,000 RPM of 42.2 miles per hour. At that speed, fuel burn was measured to be 16 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 142 miles. Best cruise came in at 3,500 RPM and 24.5 miles per hour. That reduced the fuel burn to 5.6 gallons per hour, and the 207 could keep that speed up for 9 hours and 36 minutes and 236 miles while still maintaining a 10% reserve. We had a quick time to plane of 3.8 seconds, continued accelerating to 20 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds, and we reached 30 miles per hour in 9.2 seconds. The R207 was a fun boat to drive. She had a firm feel thanks to the standard C-Star hydraulic steering, so there wasn't a lot of cranking and banking going on. That firm steering will also have an effect at the dock. Make approaches slow because cranking the wheel from one side to the next is not something that happens quickly. She has high top sides and a wide flared bow, qualities that would make her a good offshore boat. She also has a cockpit that's 28 inches deep. On plane, she throws water well out to the sides, which creates a dry ride. Upon accelerating, the bow comes up 11 degrees. Once on plane, don't be shy about using the trim to get her onto her cruising attitude. Adding too much trim results in ventilating the propeller as opposed to generating bow oscillation. With her built-in fishing amenities, optional water sports capabilities, and her 42 mile hour performance, I think this dual console serves as a very capable crossover between family fun and fishing. And since she's a Roballo, affordability is a given. That's my full review of the Roballo R207. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.